Hi everyone. In the last semester, I took a course on artificial intelligence, and we were assigned a group project. Me and two friends of mine decided to work with genetic programming and neural networks on a simple game. The game we came up with is called Wall Avoider. As you can see on the right side of the video, the player tries to pass through the gaps in the walls that are coming its way. By the way, the player you are seeing is neither a human nor it has a pre-coded algorithm to play the game. It is the result of many generations of individuals trying to be better at the game. The map of the game is a matrix that has 10 rows and 7 columns. It slides down 1000 times or until the character is dead. At every 8th slide, a randomly created wall gets added to the first row. These walls have 3 gaps that are adjoined with each other. The character is a yellow square that turns to red when it dies. The score of the character, which is called fitness in genetic algorithms, equals to the number of the walls that the character passed before it dies. The game ends when the character passes 125 walls, therefore the maximum fitness is 125. The character is controlled by a neural network. This network has 5 inputs and 2 outputs. And by mutations, the neural net may develop hidden nodes. 3 input nodes in the middle show the 3 objects in front of the character. The input nodes on the sides show the location of the character. If they are 1, 0, then the character is at the leftmost column. If they are 0, 1, then the character is at the rightmost column. If they are both 0, then the character is at one of the 5 columns in the middle. My algorithm is based on the NEAT algorithm, which stands for Neuroevolution of Augmented Topologies. This algorithm is developed by MIT. For more information about this algorithm, you can click the link in this video's description. Although my algorithm is based on NEAT, there are several differences. You will see the differences if you look to the NEAT algorithm. Now, in the genetic program part of my algorithm, a population of the desired size and probability of mutation is created at the very start of the test. Individuals in the population are created with random genomes, which means random neural nets. Every individual in the population gets tested. After testing, the selection algorithm selects half of the population. The selected half consists of individuals that have the highest fitness number. After selection, every individual gets cloned and mutated. This breed of new individuals gets added to the selected ones. Therefore, I, once again, have the same population size. By doing this multiple times, the population evolves, so that nearly all of them can complete the task or play the game. As you can see, genetic algorithm is very much like evolution, and the neural network gives these individuals the brain to control its movements. By the combination of these two algorithms, simulating evolution is pretty simple and incredibly interesting. In my next video, I'll be showing an example of Wall Avoider, and you will see how many generations it takes to achieve a fit and stable population. If you have any questions about my algorithm, please ask them on the comment section below. By the way, don't forget to check out MIT's algorithm, and also subscribe and share.